Mm. Hello, hello. Kids, we're gonna have a little show. Look what I got in my hand. These are old long leaf pine boards. They've been sitting out in the rain for seven, eight months on a, on a sawhorse. So they didn't get my other job done I was gonna use it for. And it's still good. So what I'm gonna show you guys is something really crazy. How far can you bend a board? They still have it be good. And this is tongue and groove. This is a flooring that would have been down or on the walls in 1890s. So, to give you an example, you can see this board close up. Looks pretty ratty. Lots of holes in it. Even got some termite damage. You can tell on that side. Now this side you can't see anything. And this board probably weighs normally about four pounds per board foot, which is one inch thick. So this is three quarters, almost an inch thick. Every two feet is four pounds. And this board is probably Can you see it? Whoa, 16 foot, 18 foot long. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this board and I'm gonna put it over here on top of these other boards. And I got this set up with the wall. Look it, if you see, the wall's not straight. See out there? That's that side of the wall. So it's gotta bend in. What'd you say, at least two feet, two and a half feet? And this is showing a curved wall. You can actually curve yeah, these see, things that will this way. The other end, it's gonna do the same thing. Yep. So, how do you fix that? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna do it kind of different than most. See, I'm gonna set that lip right there, come all the way over this end. And then, I'm gonna take the screw gun, my favorite, and then I'm gonna put this over here. And by the way, they are not endorsing me, and they should be, for doing this for them. That would be, the wall, my yellow tool specialist. Now, to do this, I'm using a very special Torx head screw. Really good teeth on it, really good bite. That's a Torx head. Can you see that? There you go. Whoops. Okay, you want to use that Torx head. That's a special head. It doesn't strip out with this really hard wood. Now, you'll notice this is going into a rather small 2 by 2 And all this stuff, I just happen to find it around. Okay. Laying around. That's the tip you want. Now over here, <clears throat> we're gonna come over here now, I got the end where I want it. She's gonna hold on to this, right and there. And record at the same time. I'm gonna just turn the other direction. I'm gonna loosen this <laughs> up so she can pull it down. So I wanna line that up a little better. So she's just gonna hold it. I get that a little bit ready. Make sure it wants to come loose. Okay, now I'm gonna jiggle this a little bit. Make it come down a little more. I don't want that to touch for my purposes. Go out to the end of the board. All right. She's gonna go out there. She'll have a lot of leverage. It's a long board. That makes board. a big difference. Now pull down. Pull this down. That's good. Oh, that's from bending the board. Now, she can come up the other side and wants to show you how much we bent that board. Go right over there. Go out in a straight line, just show them how. <clears throat> this is best. It's already bent once, it bends again, and now I'm going to bend it again. You can see over here, I got a gap. So I'm not going to bend it straight around the curve, I'm going to bend it downward too. I'm going it this way. That means normally a modern wood, that would split all to business. So, on this one, so I'll start it. Back down here. Make so it easier. Some... She's going to the other end. You'll see how we're going to bend this down. There you go. And look at that baby just... Wow. See the curve up there, guys? Look at that. Oh, and the battery. Yeah. There's not even a screw down here, and it's already trying to stay tight. Isn't that something? Hey. I love battery It likes that tenon groove so much, it's already trying to stay in place for you. 
again. At the end, you'll see I'm a little bit more out of it. And this is still flexible. I can still bend this if I want. And I will, because I'm actually bringing it back a little further, just to exaggerate that bend. That's one screw holding that in. Not splitting the wood, nothing. Now this is going into an old board that was sitting out in the rain and the weather on the ground for a year and a half, two years, longleaf pine. But the tree was probably a thousand years old when it was cut. It doesn't rot easy. These are treated newer wood, they'll rot faster. But this old stuff, no problem. So that was your quick lesson on why I want to use old stuff. If you go over there, she's gonna take a picture from that end. And you know, I'm just standing next to this. You'll see what happens, how much of a bend there is. Now go all the way to the end and then come around tight to it. Yep, look at that. Look at that, guys. That's... One single piece bent all that way. This whole wall is done that way. This is the inside and outside of our new rabbit cage and chicken area. We're gonna expand on this in her garden. This she's doing over here. And so this will all be kind of a cool little classroom area. Garden. And a place to come play with rabbits, things like that. And you can see on the inside, then we'll have a rounded surface and a little stage area. We have some more things over here going on. So, I know nobody ever gets to see much of this, but thank you so much for visiting. We'll see y'all soon. Take care.